prayer? What were they doing for that? What were they doing during that prayer? Uh, during that hour? What was? What were they doing during that time? And the Rambam says, Maimonides says, that the message was for the reason why they stayed for an hour after they already completed the prayers was in order for to make the impression that prayer should not be happenstance, but it should be meaningful. It shouldn't be like you're dropping a bird and you prayed for a long time, now you're done and you're out and you're done. And it's a very powerful message in the idea of what prayer is, a davening is. It represents an intense, special opportunity for those who are davening, when we daven, to connect and have a relationship with Hashem. And that's why tonight is such a special event when we're giving our children their very first Sidur, their prayer book. It's that very vehicle that represents that they have to connect with Hashem for anything, whether they're grateful, they can thank Hashem for all the wonderful things they have. When there are things that they want, they can ask Hashem to have them. They can have that relationship with Hashem. And they can say thank you to Hashem. And it's my bracha to all of our students tonight, as they get their first Sidur, that they should use it to, to always connect to Hashem, to always be able to ask Hashem for anything in the world that they want, to be able to thank Hashem for all the amazing things that God will will happen in their lives, and to have that special relationship. And before I turn the floor over, I just want to do a very, wish a very special thank you to Mara Esther for all the work that she's put in this entire year and for this event. Mazel tov. Thank you, Rabbi Trandoff. Hi, everybody. I'm Mora Esther, and I am lucky enough to teach these children Judaics. So right now, we're going to go straight over to the main part of the program tonight. In lieu of our usual show at school, we have prepared a movie for your enjoyment that is going to highlight some songs that the children sang at school, some davening, some of their thoughts about davening and Hashem and um, some photos, and I hope you enjoy it. I like Adonalam because I like the tune. I like Alana because I like her 
Dorian Hall, Holy Yeshua, Concordia Rico. I like Mato Boo because it's ma I like the town. I like Ashray because it makes me happy. I like Alainu because it's fast. I like Alainu because it's really fun. I like Ashray because it's it makes me feel close to Hashem. I like Alainu because it's at the end of the Dalvani. I like Ashray because it's long. I like Ashray because as it's restful. because when I take the three steps back and the three steps forward and when I say all that things it makes me feel closer to our son. My favorite to feel is Shona Asinai because I like it. My favorite to feel is Moda Ani because I like the tune. My favorite to feel is that done along because I like the tune. My favorite to feel is Mona Esri because it makes me feel close to Hashem. My favorite to feel is I don't know Lam because I like it. My favorite to feel is I don't know Lam because it says Hashem's name. My favorite to feel is Alenu because I like it. My favorite to feel is the morning brachos because it makes me feel really close to Hashem.
Hashem can do anything. He can make me turn into a witch. I feel happy. Hashem could do anything. The earth is green and blue, but he could turn it into pink and purple. Not happy. Hashem can do anything and it makes me happy. Hashem can do anything and it makes me happy because I'm one of his people all oh, me can make the impossible happen. Hashem can do anything. He can make wasps attack the whole world. Hashem could, to, um, could make me more powerful than him. I said I can do anything and I feel happy. <laughs> Hashem could make two billion turtles. <laughs> Hashem could do anything to make me feel happy. Hashem can do anything. He can even make Mashiach come in the base and make that. Hashem can do anything. He could even make me happy. Hashem can do anything to make Ohio State school um um score one thousand um win one thousand games in a trillion days. Hashem could do anything. He could even make me turn into to um a monster with a million head. Hashem could do anything. It makes me feel happy. He could make Olam Hava come. Whatever he wants to. Hashem can do anything. He can even put turkeys all around the world. Hashem can do anything. He can turn a man into a turtle. Hashem can do anything. He can. He can make poor people have money. Hashem can do anything. He can even um. We're sleeping in it, and then he can turn me into Becca and my sister to um, Wonder Woman Baby.
Okay, this message goes out to the children of first grade. It is now time to get your Hagasi door box and open it up. We'll give you two or three minutes and we'll start checking in with each of you in your homes and spotlight you. And you can wave and show us your new ski door sitter. Go ahead and open them everybody. <laughs> I see Jenny taking a peek inside her new sea door. And Ty and Ella. Oh, Eli's got his out. Oh, I see Hananya has his. And oh, yeah, Gideon's got his. Oh, Netanel's got his ready. Oh, Bella has hers. Okay, Mrs. Miller, I think we could start spotlighting the students and they can wave and hold up their seat door so we can see them. I'm gonna go and is it alphabetical order that we're going in? It's number order. <laughs> ah, you can see more about our inside of the class. Hold on as I'm spotlighting. All right, so we're gonna begin with Eli. So more Esther, the, you want the students to show us their C door? Yeah, give us a wave and, uh, and hold up your C door. Okay. And wave to your classmates. Oh, that's great, Eli. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I think we're, lucky because Ty and Bedell happen to be in the same place. So if you guys want to spotlight and wave and show us your seat door. Yes. And wait, are you trying to say hi? Hey. Great job. And I'm trying to work as fast as I can here. So not to now, you're next. Oh. So if you want to show us your sea door and wave to your friends and family. Say wave hello. Wave. All right. Next I have David Drandoff. So David, oh, waving. He's holding his sea door with pride. Hi there. Next I'm going to go to Svi. So hi, Svi. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you for waving. I want to make sure I don't forget anyone. And waving to your family and friends. Next, I have Hananya. Hi, Hananya. Show us your sea door. Amazing. I love the pictures on everyone's sea door. Next, I have Bella is going to be spotlighted next. Hi, Bella. Oh, you knew you, you were ready, Bella. You knew you were going to be next. <laughs> Hi, Bella. All right. After Bella is Adina. So, Adina, get ready. Hi, Adina. Do you want to wave to everyone? No? Okay. You could wave. You could wave to your friends. Next, I'm going to go to Gabe's home to the weapon. Oh, look, he's got his CTA sunglasses on. And you have a special picture there. <laughs> Very nice. You want to wave to your friends? All right. Awesome. Next, I'm going to Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Do you want to share your C door? Oh, look at that picture. Want to wave to your friends? And everyone could wave back. <laughs> she just wants to be in the picture by herself. All right, next we have Ezra. Hi, Ezra. You want to wave to your friends out there and show us your seat door? Look at that. <laughs> it's so nice to see everyone at their homes. Um, next we have Mia. So Mia, get ready. Hi, Mia. Oh, she was ready. Yep, you're on. 
<laughs> Congratulations, everyone. After Mia. Oh, is that a CTA um, beach ball? I like how you're promoting CTA. <laughs> All right, next we have Matan. If you want to wave to everyone, Matan, and wave, you know, we're recording so your family might see. So give them a big wave. Okay. Next, I have Yaakov. But you know what? I don't know. Uh, more Esther, I might need help because I don't know if I named him. So I'm going to search the things that you learn. Uh, oh, you know why? It's because it's Aria, his big brother's name. And that's why. There's Jakob. Oh, he's also wearing his CTA glasses. Uh, looking good. He wants to have the spotlight to himself there. All right. Uh, thanks for waving. Say wave to your dad. I saw him. <laughs> All right. Next, I have Ellie Cosberg going to their home. Oh, everybody's got their sunglasses. I'm loving it. They're putting them on, looking good, ready for the summer. All right. Next is Gideon. Let's go to Gideon's home. Hi. Wave, everyone's looking so good. I, I should have asked more. Esther, what was in the boxes? Uh, yeah, there were sunglasses in there. Oh, wait. I got sunglasses. <laughs> yes, you do. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next I have Sarah. Now I have two Sarahs. Let's see if I have the right one. Nope, I have her family. Hi, Yehudalabe. Let me find the right Sarah. There she is. You want to wave? It's nice to see you. And last but not least, I'm going to see Hootie. Hootie, you're next. You want to wave to everyone? I like how you're outside. Yay. Yay, Hootie. It looks like, are you playing baseball right now, Hootie? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Maura Esther, who's going to say a few words. Hi. I would just like to speak to the children of Kita Aleph and just say to you all, I am so glad that you're here tonight. And it was a crazy year with plastic dividing the tables and wearing masks and keeping separate. But even through all that, you guys worked really hard in school and you worked really hard at having fun. And I think we all together had a great year and I feel very, very lucky to have spent it with all of you. I hope that you get a lot of um, enjoyment out of your new grown up sitter. And please don't forget after this program to put it in your backpack and bring it to school tomorrow because tomorrow morning, right away, we're going to start using your new Sidor. Um, okay, and that's it. And I would like to um, just pass the spotlight over to Miss Tannenbaum to say a word or two. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to wish you a Mazel Tov also. And especially after this year, I hope that each one of you uses your new C-Door in good health for many years to come. And I'll see you in the morning. So mazel tov to all of our students. And um, I'm really proud of you. You've come so far from kindergarten to first grade. And you, every morning I see you Davin and working so hard and it's so great to celebrate. I know that this year is not what we hoped or expected, but I have to say, I'm so proud of each student because we made it through and we got to be in school together this entire year. And we're very, very lucky and fortunate to be able to do that. So let's give our first graders a round of applause. And then I'd like to thank you parents because we couldn't do this without you. I know this year has been more than we bargained for. At least we're not at home for a couple of months together where we had to turn over the teaching. So it's been nice to partner with you. I know 
Um, you've had to do things differently this year. So thank you for your partnership, for your trust and your encouragement um, this year and support because we couldn't have gotten this far without your support. So let's give the parents a raise the roof and really loud say thank you to your mom and dad really loud at home, okay? I see you saying thank you. And then I wanna say thank you to our teachers. Um, Maura Esther and Miss Tannenbaum, you know, they work really hard. They spend a lot of hours after school. They spend a lot of work preparing things like this. And although I wish we were all in per person this year for this event, it's really nice to see Maura Esther learning some really cool technology skills. Her um, video is really top notch and I'm going to have to learn from more Esther and maybe she can teach you. And Ms. Tannenbaum, thank you for supporting them this year and, and making sure that they're getting out and moving. And students, I, I want to just end with, I loved hearing your dream, your what you're praying for when you dive in, like you're thankful for toys and a couch, for Hashem making us, for turtles and our beautiful family. I forget which student wrote that. And it was great to hear your, see your writing and hear you speak so well, as well as seeing you Davin. So I'm really proud of you. We're gonna wrap up with a optional, um, it's about seven minutes, um, optional slideshow that Maura Esther made of pictures throughout the year so that family and um, parents and students can just get a glimpse into what the classroom has looked like this year. If you wanna sign off, feel free to do that because we know it's seven, um, but if you wanna stay, we're gonna end with a slideshow. Anything else more, Esther, you want me to add? No, that's it. Thank you all for coming. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And children, I'll replay the slideshow for you at school later in the week too. Take a drive down the highway of life. Give me five, my friend, here we are. We're together again and remembering when we met All the games, all the jokes that we laughed at The pain that we shared And we knew that no matter what came Our bond would remain the same I can travel down any road Cause I know that I'm not alone
My friends have helped to shape the man I am glimpse of all the seasons of our 2020-21 school year, Maura Esther. That was really great to, to see everything that was accomplished. And any other words for you, from you, Maura Esther, anything about some of the projects you did? Oh, gosh, I just had so much fun putting together that slideshow. Um, and just going back over the memories and all the things we did right from the beginning of the year and um, when Hoodie blew the shofar at recess, you know, so all, every, all the holidays, seeing the costumes at Forum, remembering the kids making uh, sushi and notes at Hanukkah kind of time, um, you know, everything we did up through the projects we just made for um, Shabu Oats the other week, um, it was just wonderful and um, 
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you all. Um, if you want to unmute, we can all say mazel tov to one another. And then I will end the meeting and see you. Don't forget your sudor has to go in your backpack. Okay. So let's wait. Mazel tov. 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 M